Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Wednesday, September 4th, our scripture is found in the 106th Psalm, verses 1 through 6, 13 through 23, and 47 and 48. Praise the Lord, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty doings of the Lord, or declare all, all His praise? Happy are those who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, when you show favor to your people. Help me when you deliver them that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory in your heritage. Both we and our ancestors have sinned. We have committed iniquity, have done wickedly. But they soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel. But they had a wanton craving in the wilderness and put God to the test in the desert. He gave them what they asked, but then a wasting disease among them. They were jealous of Moses in the camp and of Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Daphne and covered the faction of Abiram. Fire also broke out in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf at Horeb and worshipped a cast lit image. They exchanged the glory of God for the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God, their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and awesome deeds by the Red Sea. Therefore he said he would destroy them had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the breach before him to turn away his wrath before destroying them. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. It all belongs to God. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Verse 1. My preschooler and I sat at the table, tummies rumbling. Steaming plates of spaghetti and broccoli beckoned. He reaches for his fork. I stop him, noting we need to pray first. No, I'm hungry, he, he stabs a noodle. Jack, I press, everything we have come, we have come from and belongs to God. That is why we say thanks. Even dinner? I tell him yes. God created it. For as wheat, tomato, and broccoli plants, they were picked, prepared, and sold to us by people who, like us, are part of God's creation. Jack looks thoughtful. I squeeze his hand and start our table prayer. My son, son joins in finishing with, and let these gifts to us be blessed. Daily God, daily God provides enough for all and calls us to share justice, food, clothing, shelter, fellowship. Sometimes we are so eager to eat our meal, we forget to acknowledge the source of all goodness. Prayer connects us with God allowing us to share our request and thanksgiving. God loves when we do this. Our prayer. Great nourisher, you alone are the source of our daily bread. Help us lift our hearts in praise to you for such good goodness. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.